Hey, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> it's a glorious day out here. Yeah, I'm on my bat, my bat patio working today. Unfortunately, I had a bad incident. My door had came to pieces on my fence, and I'm gonna build it myself. <laughs> See how bad it is? Ooh, it's throwing, man. Uh, my fence of my house the door is ruined, man. It's gotten rotten. It's years and years past due. See, guys, I do a lot of stuff myself. I'm dedicated to getting the job done for myself. I went out, bought me some tool, bought my wood, and I'm going to build it myself. <laughs> it's just like everything in life, guys. You have to dedicate yourself and build your own future. You have to build your own momentum. You got to do your own goals in life. And that's what it's all about, guys. You got to be willing to put in the effort. You got to be willing to put in the dedication. You got to be able to have that will. <laughs> and that's what I'm all about. I ain't no poor man. I ain't no light old man. I do my job myself. Man want to charge me $1,500 to build a fence, a little door. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Man, you serious? Yeah, uh, well, I tell you what, let me think about it. And I'll give you a call back. Think I ever call him? <laughs> well, anyway, guys, there's a lot of you just starting out out there and then you was asking me questions. I appreciate all the questions, by the way, guys. And I appreciate you still having a lot of faith in me to help guide you and put you in the right direction out there as far as in the trucking industry. And I thank you, guys. I appreciate it a whole lot. Uh, there's a lot of you starting out out there doing new things and trying to build your own own future on what you're looking for in, in a trucking. Uh, you're going to have negative comments, people that don't like the advice you, that we give you. You're going to have people that appreciate the advice that we give you. And you're going to, and, and be honest with you, you're going to have some people that just can't stand that you're getting this advice from these great truckers out here that's showing you all the great tools that you need to get where you need to get it. See all the stuff I built? I'm doing it myself. <laughs> I'm good, ain't I? Look at this. I just haven't put it in a frame yet, but I'm still working on it, guys. It's going to be me, myself, and I. That's my little hobby. Working around my house, doing things myself to keep myself fit, keep myself strong, keep myself working out. You know, you always stay in order. I'm glad to be home too, by the way. <laughs> Take care of your home front. Your home front is the key to every success as a family. You always got to remember that. But as I was saying, you're going to have a lot of them out there hate the advice that we are giving you. Um, Mr. Senator, uh, Little Guy Trucker, they're giving you all this great information. And a lot of people out there, a lot of trucking companies are retaliating. They hate that you're getting the honest truth about trucking out there. <laughs> Even as a rookie, especially. I mean, you need to know these things. And guys like me, Mr. Senator, and Little Guy Trucker, we're just want to inform you. Keep your eyes on us. We're going to always give you information. If you ask the question, we'll give you the honest answer. Some are not liking it. Some are going to call it stupid. Some are going to call it you dumb. It's crazy names I ever never heard in my life. But I don't, I don't remark back to those insults. Uh, every man, I believe every person in this world have their own opinion, and they deserve to make their own opinion. It's called freedom of speech, and that's something that I always enter to give. <laughs> so enjoy your comments. Eh? That's their choice in life. Uh, me, I'm not a hater. I don't do that sort of thing, and you won't ever get it out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to get a kick out of Douglas, you ain't get, you're in the wrong place because I don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I appreciate the questions, and like I said again, embrace the knowledge that Mr. Senator, uh, uh, Little Guy Truck, and, and, and Trainer, James, Trainer James, and 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 all the guys out there that are giving you information. Embrace it. Listen. Listen. It's not going to misguide you rookies. Don't worry about the senior citizen out there. They're going to tell you, oh, it's good. Do your thing. Yeah, hey, I've been out here for years. I know how to drive a truck. I make my money. I yeah, half of them, <laughs> half of them got two divorces, six kids, <laughs> paying alimony, child support, and much more. 
Ask them that question. I guarantee they won't tell you because they don't want you to know just how terrible it is. They only want you to know what they want you to, to feel the same way they are. In reality, in their heart, point blank, they know the truth. But because they have so many personal incidents going on in their life, they, they can't find a way to put the pride aside and, and let it go. They can't let it go. They, uh, they got the God complex out there. They're going to drive over you. They want to get that load. They need to make that money because they got a lot of things to pay. Out of moment, child support, second wife, th third wife, <laughs> girlfriend, <laughs> and a kid on the way by the girlfriend. <laughs> Believe it. But, hey, that's their choice. The I, it's not my duty to judge anybody. They, they do what they do best. They make money. They work hard at what they do. And I, I, I praise them, too, because... For them to to let let things out of hand the way it does and still pick up, they got coohoos to me. I, I really appreciate that. It's, it, it's the old saying that my father always told me. He said, uh, a boy can make kids. A boy can try to be a man, but only a man himself can raise them. <laughs> and that's a responsible man. So, hey, coohoo to those two, man. Uh, guys... Like I said again, I got a lot of things in transition for myself. I got a lot of things I'm working on. And uh, in about a year, the spotlight begins to shine again. <laughs> so I just put it that way. But guys, um, keep your eyes open. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so keep your eyes open. And Douglas got a lot of plans going on. And he's been working on it ever since he's been off the road. So Keep your eyes open. I just put it that way. <laughs> well, either way around, guys, I just want to give you an update on me. I'm, I don't want to take up too much of time today. I know you're busy, and I know I'm going to be busy working on this fence. This guy claimed it's going to cost $1,500 to fix. It's a fence, man. Look at that. It's a little fence. Come on now. $1,500? I'm going to do it with $62.83. <laughs> You guys don't get fooled by that sort of thing out here. I know you're on the road constantly and your woman home. She's got to call a maintenance guy to do this, a maintenance guy to do that. But don't let this maintenance guy get you guys. You got to wash your steps. You got to wash your benefit. You got to be the man of the house. You got to let them know, dude, you crazy. You think I'm going to pay you that for the fist that You do it yourself, man. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. And show them. <laughs> but anyway, keep subscribing, guys. Keep telling your friends. And the other thing, guys, keep, keep cool. <laughs> I'm out of here. Got to go to work. I'm going to have it done in about two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Be good.